How can we assume the best out of people when they're super attractive? Why do we associate intelligence, leadership skills, kindness, and all these other positive qualities with how a person looks? Well, a psychologist actually named Edward Thorndike, he actually coined the term for this cognitive bias we have, and he called it the halo effect. He did a whole research study and a paper, and the paper was actually titled The Constant Air in Psychological Ratings. Mouthful. In this study, actually, Thorndike asked a few commanding officers to rate their subordinate soldiers based on a few qualities. And guess what the results were? The higher the physique, the higher the ratings were on leadership skills and obedience and all these other wonderful qualities. And although being attractive means everyone kind of worshipping you sounds amazing, it can actually be a double-edged sword in a way because in a few other studies done, people assumed because another person was super attractive that they were vain, that they were mean, they just weren't a good person overall. And of course, this is all dependent on the person creating this halo effect on this other human being. Now, although this study was done in the 1920s, the halo effect is still happening now, today in this age. It's even led jurors to be less likely to believe a person who is very attractive could not have committed a crime, again, based on their looks. Why an employer may be more likely to hire an attractive person even if their competition has the same set of skills as the other people. Or why we fancy celebrities so much. And although becoming aware of the halo effect is absolutely wonderful, you should always remember the lesson of this video. People are very, very complicated. So don't assume someone's looks reflect exactly who they are as a human being. If you are an OG subscriber, then you know who I am, maybe. I used to post videos a while back. School, work got hectic, but here I am again. Hopefully I can post more. Um, if you want to check out what I've been up to, you can check me out on the Twitters and the YouTubes, Twitter, my personal YouTube channel. Um, I also have an Instagram, a Periscope, Snapchat, all that good stuff here. I don't use them that often, but I have them. If you want to add me, they're, they're here. I'll, I'll post something here. If you can't click these wonderful annotations, then you can definitely click the description box below and I'll have all my wonderful links there. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful life. Bye!